Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the finale for my Across the Pond project pan that I'm doing with my friend Jessica. I'll leave Jessica's channel down below as long as uh, alongside a playlist of this entire project. Um, basically what it was was um, Jessica lives in the United States, I live in the UK. We decided that I would use up UK products and Jessica would use up US products, but like of the same lines. So we both had a purple nail polish, we both had a yellowy type eyeshadow, we both had some dry shampoo, we both had some primers, we both had a serum, all this sort of stuff. Um, some of these items I did finish up in previous updates. Um, I finished up the Soap and Glory Clean On Me uh, body wash. I finished up the Soap and Glory Body Butter, um, the Amy Facial Scrub, the uh, Nails Ink Nail Polish, um, and the eyeshadow that was in the W7 palette. Um, I have finished more stuff this time round, which I am so happy about because it was like last minute push to get these items out of my collection. Um, and I managed to get some of these ones done. So super happy about what I'm about to show you. The first one then is in the Sleek palette. This is the Whimsical Wonderland collection, all the fun at the fair. And I wanted to hit pan on the shade Teacups, which is this one here. And as you can see, I have hit pan. I've hit quite a big bit of pan, actually. I was hoping to get this last little top bit done, so it was basically just all around the rims uh, that was left. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that to show you guys. But I am super, super happy about where I managed to end up. Like, this eyeshadow was brand new when we started this project, so I'm super happy about that one. Um, and then this palette can now go back into my collection because it's more of a springy type palette. Um, so I'll bring this out next spring and probably finish up that eyeshadow there. Um, let me put this back in there. How did this go? That way around. Okay. So there's that. I close the thing and the thing falls out. Can you see that? Okay, it's gone back in. So the next item I finished completely was the MUA Color Correct Pro Base Prime and Conceal Color Corrector in green. And I did only have a teeny bit left of this. But as you can see, I completely finished that up. Um, again, super happy about this. I didn't think this was going to make it. I, I thought that um, this was going to have to go into a use up now type product uh, project. Um, you know, like a... A gimme product. Thank you. Couldn't think of the thing. Um, so I thought that was going to have to be one of those, but it's not. So that's gone completely. I'm super happy about that. Um, these color correctors are okay, but they're super thin. So you can't like over blend because otherwise it goes to nothing. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying a different kind of color corrector. Um, and I really enjoy the green. The green works really well on me. So, okay, two more items then that I managed to finish up. This is the Batiste 2-in-1 Invisible Dry Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is completely gone. Like, you can't hit anything. Um, so, yeah. I did not like this. Um, I'll give a brief explanation as to why, but I'll go into more detail um, in my empties. Basically, I didn't like the consistency of it. It just made my hair super oily for no reason. So, I won't be buying that. Um, and this, which you won't be able to tell because it's a nondescript pot, um, was the Balance Me facial primer. It was like an anti-aging facial primer, and that's completely used up as well. Um, I can't remember if I used this up in a previous update. If I have, sorry for showing you the same thing again. Um, but yeah, that one's gone as well. So I managed to finish up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Like, this was one of two, so I'm counting that as a half. So in this project, I finished up seven and a half items, uh, which I think is super cool. Like, there was ten items total, um, and I finished seven and a half of them, so I'm super happy about that. Um, I'm just going to put these away. Uh, yeah, so, you know, amazing progress, amazing, amazing stuff. And now onto the things that I didn't quite finish. Um, so 
that dry shampoo, as I said, was one of two. And the other part was this. This is the Batiste, the Batiste Stylist Oomph My Locks XXL Volume Spray. When I started, it was about here. And now it's about here. So, like, just a teeny bit of use. Um, I don't like these texturizing sprays. I really didn't think I was going to get this done because I put it in my hair and I was like, oh, here we go. Um, it just makes it super matted and stiff and I don't like that feeling on my hair. My hair, I very rarely wear hairspray I, and I always like the soft floaty type hair rather than the um, uh, super held hair. So um, to have something like this where it made my hair really stiff is not ideal for me. Um, but having said that, I will use it up, I will, because even though it came in a birch box, I essentially pay for the birch box, so I will use it up, because otherwise that's wasting money. Um, maybe you might see this in another project again soon, because I doubt that I'll use it voluntarily. Um, and the last one, oh no, sorry, uh, two more items. I just need to mark this one quickly because the mark has rubbed off. Okay. And this is the, the Hero Project Vitamin C30 Ultra Brightening Serum. And that's where I finished. Like, I was, I super used this in the last, like, month or so. Um, because I realised that I wasn't going to finish it um, so I just basically thought so that I'm not going to finish it let's just see how much it can get done and I just used the heck out of it and I've, done, I've only got a teeny bit left like hardly anything left um, so that one will definitely be in another project and I can think in my head of which project is going to go in um, so yeah super happy about I mean, this, like, you only need a teeny bit at a time. Teeny, super teeny bit. Um, and you can tell that from this update here. Like, you only need a teeny bit at a time. And it's really hard to get a load of progress at a time. So I'm super pleased with being able to do that. And the last item then is this Avon Super Shock Gel Eyeliner in black. Um, and the last update we were here and I had to stagger the things because I drew on the page so if I measure it then why can't I hold things oh my god this is not going well okay and that is my finishing point there so I did get some good use out of this let, let me do it to the before the mark so I used about a centimetre maybe one and a half centimetres worth of use on that. Um, so again, I got a load of good use out of it. I didn't think I was ever going to finish this, but I just wanted to get some use out of it. And you know, that's a centimetre worth of this done. So really pleased with that one as well. Um, and that's everything for this finale. I am so glad that Jessica said to do this because I am super happy with one, finishing up a ton of items Two, having that connection now that I have with Jessica is just amazing she's a wonderful wonderful lady and I would not want to not be friends with her now like she's awesome and if you don't know who I'm talking about go to her channel because you will love her just as much as I do she's awesome she's super lovely and she's just an incredible person um, and I hope that she'll want to do more projects with me in the future. Um, yeah, let me know, Jessica. Um, so I will catch you guys in the next video, which will probably be another project pan. Not gonna lie. Probably will be, because that's what we do here, right? Um, I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.